Houston, with Eric Gordon and Ryan Anderson out, Trevor Ariza decided it was his turn to let it fly from three-point range. Ariza scored a season-high 25 points, making 7 of 10 from beyond the arcade in the Houston Rockets' 125-95 victory over the Denver Nuggets on Wednesday night. Tonight was my night, Ariza said with a grin. If those guys are out, call on me. I get it, rightfully. Anderson, illness, and Gordon, right calf tightness, average 17.83 point attempts per game, but Ariza was more than happy to pick up the slack. Chris Paul made 4 of 7 from 3 and had 23 points and 12 assists, while James Harden added 21 points, 9 assists and 8 rebounds. After missing a month because of a knee injury sustained in the season opener, Paul has re-entered Houston's rotation seamlessly. With the court open like that, we can get into the lane, but we've got options, Paul said. We've got lobs, we've got floaters, we've got whatever's there. The Rockets have won nine of their last ten games, and beat Denver for the fifth straight time after sweeping the series 4-0 last season. Houston led 75-40 at the half, the Rockets' largest halftime lead of the season. In a scary moment for Denver midway through the second quarter, Nikola Jokic fell to the ground following a tipped layup with a non-contact injury. He limped off the court to the locker room but returned later in the quarter. I was really worried, Coach Michael Malone said. To see Nikola go down like that and have no idea how serious it was going to be, you can tell the competitor he is. He could have easily said, I am going to hang out in the back and watch the rest of this one with my feet in a cold tub. But he wanted to get back out there. Will Barton led Denver with 20 points, Jokic had 17, and Gary Harris added 13. Denver played its second game without Paul Millsap. He sustained a left wrist injury Sunday in a loss to the Los Angeles Lakers and is out indefinitely. Starting in his place, Wilson Chandler returned to action after missing a victory Monday night at Sacramento with back pain. P.J. Tucker started in Anderson's place, while Luke Baamut scored 13 points in 26 minutes behind Paul. Houston outscored Denver by 57 points in the 26 minutes that Baamut was on the floor, the best plus-minus by any player in a game over the last 20 seasons, including playoffs according to ESPN Stats and Info. You've got to understand, I am not surprised by any of that stuff, Paul said. Coach, Mike D'Antoni, especially early in the season, would come and tell me, Luke is good, and I would be like, I know. I played with him. There's a trust factor there and I trust Luke as much as I trust myself. After losing two of three on the road trip, the Nuggets will play three of their next four in Denver, where they're 7-2 to this season. The NBA is an up-and-down season with the highest of the highs one day and the lowest of the lows the next day, Malone said. It's been an emotional trip, losing one of our best players for an extended period of time and going home after a real tough loss. But we're going home together, united and have a great belief that we're headed in the right direction. Tip Ian's Nuggets Denver scored a season-low 17 points in the first quarter while allowing a season-high 75 first-half points.